very special day because I'm actually sitting with two guests today. We have Jessica and Jake with us. Um, thanks for sitting down with me, guys. I'm so excited just yeah, hang out with you sure. and learn a little bit about what you guys do. Um, so I want to start first with how you two met. Can you tell us the story? Oh, you, you start. You tell them. <laughs> okay, so we both joined Match.com at different points in our life. Um, yes, dating apps. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, and so he was just about done with it, and I just kind of got started, and I was about to just be done with it too, and we ended up connecting and meeting, and we really didn't like each other. <laughs> um I thought he was arrogant and rude, oh, no. and he wasn't particularly fond of me. So we, um, I thought I was never going to see him again, mm -hmm. and we ended up hanging out a couple more times. Um, what made you keep, keep hanging out if you didn't like each other? Was it just something to I, do on a Friday I, night? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, it was just uh, something. In some, there. Yeah, there was something there. But we probably just never really. We just wanted to see where this would go, and I think we both had friends that pushed us yeah, towards. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, oh, so nice. somebody told us to do it and keep trying it out, and now we're here, eighteen months later. It's wow. awesome. Well, when did you decide to move in together? Uh, probably four to six months into our relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we hung out. Well, we hung out every single day. Yeah. Oh. After so, I mean, we decided that we could get past each other's flaws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, so about four to six months in, and then we've uh, we've actually been in what three different apartments? Yeah, yes. two in Conway, and then now this one. So, what kind of made you pick Point Burry Creek? Oh, I mean, why not Burry Creek? <laughs> it's uh, I mean, it's pretty much it's pretty much a resort. You know, you, you wake up every morning and you're like, uh, man, I mean, I can't believe we actually live here. But there's so many amenities. I mean, we live across from the dog park, and that's what we have two french bulldogs and they love going there and then you know obviously the, we got a 76 mo seat movie theater upstairs and an awesome pool and and uh just pretty much everything anything and everything you would want to do especially as a you know a professional working all day you just want to come home to a nice place and this is where we uh, settled on and very happy with so nice yeah i think we looked at a couple places and we finally decided to take the tour, and we were sold after that. Yeah. Um, especially the dog park. Um, it's nothing like we've ever seen. There's just so many fun, different things about it, and living across from it's really convenient. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lucky coincidence. Um, you speak of your two dogs. I mean, we see your videos all the time because you tag pretty much every time you go to the dog park. Yeah, that's right. And Marty and Maeve have their own social accounts that you guys run for them, so... Tell me about that fun stuff. Well, I don't actually run it. I don't really care that much about it, but uh, Jessica loves it. So you okay, tell them about let's it. Let's be real. So <laughs> I found some Frenchies online that have like over a million views. Oh, yeah. Or not views, but likes, followers, yeah, whatever. Sure. And I thought, well, my Frenchies are just as cute. So I made Your them a Frenchies? page. Our Frenchies. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Your collective. Yes. Our, yes, both of our dogs. Um, and so I made them a page, and he made fun of me for a little bit. But um, I have aggressively been trying to get followers and likes, and we actually just did an interview with THB yeah, about that. parents, pet parents. Um, so that was really fun. Yeah, they even featured some of the little video clips that you've mm -hmm. made where they're uh -huh. taking action the dog. Oh, park. yeah, that's yeah. right. Taking over the Point Brody Creek. That's right. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We're going to take Little Rock next. <laughs> Speaking of yeah. our dogs, we have a runaway right now. Yeah, they're kind of walking around while we do this interview. Maeve, come on. There you are. Do they have, um, would you say that maybe Marty has a certain personality and Maeve kind of bounces off oh, of that? Oh, or? wow. I mean, Marty's just Marty. I mean, he's yeah. the most chill dog ever. All he wants to do is lay around. He's and, laying around beside us. Yeah. All he wants to do is lay around and relax. And then you got the, the 180 degree difference of... Maeve, the little one-year-old who is just bouncing off the walls all the time, anytime she can get herself into something, that's what she's going to do. Yeah, so. she's the one that usually like bounds straight into the park and is running oh, around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. She's definitely one-year-old, and he's definitely shows his seven-year-old, but he, he tries to keep up with her as much as possible. So. It's pretty funny. Someone asked me today, do they like playing with other dogs? And I was like, well... Yeah, <laughs> about that. They're more human people. 
<laughs> yeah, they love people, but maybe it doesn't matter who you are. If you'll play with their dog, cat, person. Are they big cuddlers? Because they look really cuddly. Oh, wow. Yes. They, they are the best snuggle bugs ever, and all they want to do is snuggle. Well, outside of um, the pups and going to the dog park, what do you all like to do for fun? Oh, we love rock climbing. Uh, I mean, it's just it's just right down the street, mm-hmm. uh, you know, just a mile away. Um, like I said, there's a little rock climbing center. Uh, uh, something that we do a lot of. Uh, I play soccer on like two times a week, so that's another thing that I like to do. Um, yeah, didn't you used to play soccer as well? Yeah, I actually played professional soccer for five years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I, got to, yeah. I got to live in a lot of places in the United States. I've got to travel and... Uh, yeah, it was it was a good, fun part of my life. I would say we like to go out to eat a lot. Yeah, um, we do do that. Yeah. We yeah. like to go to dog friendly places, but there's yeah. other times we like to just be on our own too. We love our dogs, but sometimes. Oh yeah, you need date nights. Yeah. Mm, there's more doggy date nights than our date nights. Right. But. Well, um, I would like to talk about you know speaking of you know you used to play soccer, you ended up in Little Rock, you guys are, you know you've been together for good amount of time now mm-hmm. you live together um what do you do what are your occupations now? what do you do so i'm the store manager of the target and bryant mm-hmm. so i do red yeah red I, and khaki. I have my red and khaki on <laughs> um and i basically run the store make sure it's running i have several salary paid managers and then i have hourly paid managers and team members and team leaders um and you do it all do it all. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Um, I started out as an hourly manager in Fayetteville, Arkansas, okay. and I just kind of worked my way up. Yeah, and I'm uh, pretty much the opposite. Uh, I'm an alcohol sales rep, so I go to yeah. liquor. Yeah, <laughs> I go to liquor stores and sell them as much alcohol as I can. So, uh, but I've been doing that for three years, uh, almost three years. Uh, I work for a company called Southern Glazers. So, mm-hmm. wine and spirits of Arkansas. So, I, it's a fun job to have. You know, I do like to occasionally indulge in some drinking. It's a lot of fun. You got to taste your product to know you what you're selling. You got to taste your product to know what you're selling. Yeah. I taste a lot of products. So, what's your favorite? I'm, bourbon. I'm bourbon. a big bourbon drinker. Yeah. He's a bourbon collector, too. Ooh. So, he yeah, collects so I co- bourbon. I How collect- many different varieties do you have? Well, I mean, I guess there's not really varieties. You got like a weeded bourbon and a rye bourbon, but we have we have quite a few bottles in there. I mean, <laughs> she's not a huge drinker. I use. She really only likes champagne. Yeah, she's she's give I her love champagne. I yeah. love bourbon. <laughs> wow. So I love either one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are now best friends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, this is you know intended to be an opportunity to get to know all the different kinds of people that live at the Point Brody Creek. Um, so many different occupations. You guys have you know your own unique viewpoint on what you do, how you mm-hmm. do it, mm-hmm. all of that fun stuff. So, are there any kind of you know, words of wisdom that you want to leave for people who are maybe wanting to get their way into management or get their way into sales? So I would say be patient. Um, Sometimes it's not the right season to be promoted or to start a position like that. I think that that's a big word of wisdom that I would say is important. And then also something I'm learning right now is just taking it one step at a time mm-hmm. or bite at a time. I'm someone who likes to be in control and be successful. And sometimes, like, you have to experience a little failure um, to be successful. So, yeah. I mean, I would just say, you know, just like any, any advice, just if you want to do something, just go after it because it's not going to wait on you. You know, yeah. it's just it's life in general. So. Well, I want to say goodbye by getting some cuddle time in with the pups. Can we yeah, do that? for mm-hmm. sure. All right. Well, um, these little pups are adorable. I can't wait to see what else you guys post on their uh, Facebook and Instagram accounts. Now, what is the handle that we need to follow on each one to see them in action? I believe Facebook is at Marty and Maeve, M-A-E-V-E, take Little Rock. And then Instagram is Marty and Maeve, the LR Frenchies. Yeah, and um, if you uh, are looking for some bourbon tips, come find this guy at Thirsty Thursday right yeah. at the Bark Park. Yeah, that's and, right. And um, follow Jessica, follow Target. Target's beautiful. They have amazing <laughs> products coming out all the time. So thanks for sitting down with me, guys. This is so yeah. much fun. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, it was Jessica. awesome. Bye. Bye.
Bye.